Okay, this tutorial is for setting up a BISUB 501 to SMB scan to Windows XP Pro. Uh, the first thing we need to do is set up a username and we're going to click on the start button, right click on my computer, click on manage. When that comes up, go ahead and click on local users and groups, click on users, right click anywhere in this blank area, and go ahead and click on new user. We're going to fill this out. The username is going to be bizhub, B I Z H U B, and the password is going to be exponential point, couple P A S S W O R D, exponential point. Again, it's exponential point, couple P, lowercase A S S W O R D, exponential point. All right, we're going to uncheck the uh, user must change password at next login and go ahead and, and check user cannot change password and password never expires. Go, and, go ahead and click create and click close. Now what we're going to do is double click on the BISUB username, click member of, click on users, then click remove, and then click OK. And basically what that does is it removes the, uh, the username from the startup screen. Go ahead and click the X to close that out. And now what we're going, I'm going to do is show you how to get the uh, host name and IP address of your computer. Go ahead and click on Start. Click on Run. We're going to type in CMD and then click OK. All right, when the command prompt comes up, go ahead and type in ipconfig space forward slash all. And this right here gives us our host name and our IP address. Um, what we really want to do is we want to scan to the host name, but if the host name doesn't work, the backup is scanning to the IP address. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, we're going to set up a folder uh, to share out. Uh, we're going to do that by clicking on Start, My Computer, double clicking on the C drive. We're going to right click anywhere in those blank area and go to New, then Folder. We're going to rename that folder My Scans. Okay, now we're going to right click on that folder. We're going to go to Send To. And we're going to click on Desktop. And what that does is that creates a shortcut on your desktop, and make it quicker and easier to get to. Now we're going to right click on that folder again and go to Properties. We're going to click on Sharing. Now we're going to click share this folder. Now we're going to click on permissions. And basically what we have here is if you want to make this folder private, go ahead and remove everyone. If not, you can leave it there. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and click on add. And where it says from this location, you want to make sure that's the computer name right there and we're going to type in bizhub and click check names if it comes back and looks similar to that then it's correct go ahead and click on OK and we want to give bizhub full control of this folder and go ahead and click OK and click OK on this alright now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the web browser of the uh, copier and you can type it in this address bar, you can bring up Internet Explorer or Firefox and bring it up. And this is where you type in the IP address of the, uh, the copier. And it's going to be something like 192.168.1 and mine is dot .60. Okay, and once that comes up, we're going to click on store address. We're going to click on new registration. We're going to click on SMB and click OK. All right, the first box we're going to fill out is the name here. This is the one touch name of um, what you want to show up on the copier. I'm just going to call mine Adam Scans. So next one down for the ABC, that's uh, how it's going to be filed on the copier. Um, just file it according to the, the first letter there. 
and uh, you also want to check mark the main that what shows up on the main page um, for the host address we're going to do the host name so check mark this box here and then we're going to type in the host name And for the file path, we're going to type in my scans, the folder we created. For the user ID, it's going to be this of the username we created. And the password is going to be the explanation point, capital P, lowercase a, s, s, w, o, r, d, explanation point. And then we're going to go ahead and click OK. And this comes up and says it's complete. Go ahead and click OK again. Go ahead and move this out of the way and uh, double click on the My Scans folder and go and scan something. If it goes through, everything's good to go. If not, then go back in and edit that one touch and change it from the host name to the, the IP address and everything should be fine. Alright, that concludes the tutorial for setting up uh, Abyssub 501 to scan to XP Pro machine.